Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. With the surge of new handheld gaming PCs being announced, I thought it was a good opportunity to take a look at the device that I feel started it all, the GPD Win. This thing was released back in October 2016. Uh, this particular model featured an Intel Atom Z28700 CPU, had four cores, four threads, and was clocked at about 1.6 gigahertz. It also came with four gigabytes of LPDDR3 RAM, 64 gigabytes EMMC storage, has a 5.5 inch 720p screen, uh, and it has a 6,700 milliamp hour battery, which would net you around six to eight hours of use, just depending on what you were doing with it. At the time, you could get all this for about 700 Australian dollars, which works out to roughly 500 US dollars. So with all that said, let's see what this beast can do. All the games I'm going to test here today are just going to be running on default settings. I've done absolutely no tweaking to get them to run the way they are, and they're just going to be on 720p, which is the native resolution of the GPD win. First game I'm going to test here is Skyrim, uh, which is running around 20 to 25 frames per second and giving what feels like an overall pretty smooth experience. Up next, we've got Final Fantasy X HD Remake. This one's running between 20 and 30 frames per second, depending on what's happening on the screen. Overall, though, it does feel pretty smooth. Uh, if I didn't have that now. counter up on the screen, I don't think I even would notice any hey, dips, especially with a game like this one. No problem! Not too shabby. You kept up with him pretty well. Might make a good guardian someday. A flyer, my kind of customer. Let's get going, man. We're gonna wait. Huh? Art. You ready? <laughs> What's going on? one we have here is Dragon Age Origins. This one's running around 20 frames per second. And once again, even with that low frame rate, it doesn't really feel that bad to play. With that being said, 
there is a reasonable pause every time the game tries to autosave, um, but it's really nothing game breaking. There is a spirit of rage. And so it comes to me at last. Soon I shall see the land of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine, body and soul. Finally, we've got Fable Anniversary Edition. This one only runs just over 10 frames per second. While it doesn't feel the smoothest experience, it is still definitely playable. That's the way you do it, Master. showcase today. If I got in and tweaked any of the settings, I would get a far better experience out of the game. There are also some tweaks that can be made inside of Windows that free up some resources and get far better performance out of this thing. I might do some of that in a later video, but for now I just wanted to just show an out-of-the-box experience with it, just on default settings. But that'll be all for this video. Thank you all for watching. Like it if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more, and if you want me to try and get anything else running on this device, Leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching.